What's up everyone, James here and Godzilla vs the Power Rangers returns to the channel. I'm so excited, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't seen the first series, you can check out the full story video I did on it right here and right below the like button. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. So this opens with Tommy Oliver, the White Ranger, kicking the crap out of Stink King, one of Rita Repulsa's monsters. He is also battling and holding his own against her other monsters, Clawhammer and Tentacree, and her numerous putty patrollers in the ruins of Angel Grove. Rita orders all her minions to not let him escape and ruin her plans. Her and her minions are trying to take a fragment of the multiversal focus Tommy has in his possession. Remember, the multiversal focus is the artifact Rita stole from a temple that was guarded by monks that her and her minions straight up slaughtered that allows her to view and transport to other realities. Now this isn't the Tommy we met in the last series. This is a Tommy from another universe. But the Rita he's facing is what I'll call Prime Universe Rita, is the same one that was defeated at the end of the last series. Now if you're wondering how she is here when she and her forces were doomed to be lost between realities, and how the multiversal focus is being used when it was fractured at the end of the last series, will be explained later in the video. Rita puts out all the stops to stop this Tommy. If you're a fan of the Power Rangers, you already know it's about to go down. Rita throws her wand toward Earth from her base on the moon while saying, Magic wand, make my monsters grow! Her monsters grow into huge kaiju, and Tommy responds with Tiger Zord power up. He takes the fight to Rita's monsters aboard his Tiger Zord. I love how the writer Cullen Bunn, who was also the writer of the last series, is showing how dominant the White Ranger can be by himself without the help of the other Rangers. However, the beast that's the true definition of dominance rises. When Saba, Tommy's enchanted personal sword, reports powerful energy readings approaching, Godzilla enters the fray and catches everyone off guard. So this Tommy is in Godzilla's universe and has never faced him before. So he initially thinks it's one of Rita's monsters until Saba informs him Godzilla is from this universe. Per usual, when you enter his territory and disturb his peace, Godzilla gets pissed. He takes on all of Rita's monsters and Tommy, blasting his atomic breath. One by one, Rita's monsters fall to Godzilla. And so Tommy is the only one left standing and ends up in his grasp. Just as Godzilla is about to tear the Tiger Zord apart, Tommy converts the Tiger Zord into warrior mode and gets free of Godzilla's grit. When Godzilla unleashes his atomic breath, Tommy matches it with the Tiger Zord's Thunderbolt. The backlash of the two mighty beams somehow activates the fragment of the multiversal focus in Tommy's possession, sending the White Ranger through the reality stream of universes. Through his conversation with Saba, we learn he's been jumping from universe to universe, running from Rita and her forces. The next universe he ends up being sent to is what I'll call the Prime Universe, where the Power Rangers we met in the last series reside. I will call him for the rest of the video White Ranger Tommy or the White Ranger so he doesn't get confused with Prime Universe Green Ranger Tommy. He travels to the Prime Power Rangers Command Center where we get the info dump on how Rita is back and how he possesses a fragment of the Multiversal Focus. After the Prime Rangers inform him they know about the Multiversal Focus, he explains to them and Zordon that Rita's new ambitious goal is to conquer all of reality while collecting all of the fragments of the broken Multiversal Focus. He learned all her plans after she attacked his dimension with an army of her monsters, catching him and his fellow rangers by surprise. After she overwhelmed them, she sent his fellow rangers into the reality stream, but not before stripping them of their powers. That's what she's been doing to the power rangers of every reality. He luckily managed to track her down and steal one of her fragments of the multiversal focus, which is delaying her plans for now. However, the one thing he hasn't figured out yet is what she plans on doing with the Power Rangers powers she's taken. He also says, I know we've stopped Rita time and time again, but this time, she has friends. That's where we go next, Rita and her new ally who turns out to be Astronema, the main villain of my second favorite Power Rangers show, Power Rangers in Space. She's the sister of one of my favorite Red Rangers, Andros. I'm not going to go into her origin story because it's not relevant to this story. Just know she's the chief lieutenant of the biggest evil of the Power Rangers universe, Dark Spectre. However, she isn't the only villain from Power Rangers in Space that will appear in this story. 
something much, much worse we're going to see soon, and it's freaking awesome. Though these two are working together, it's an uneasy alliance because they don't like each other. Astronema throws shade at Rita by telling her she's just as incompetent as the Rita from her universe because the White Ranger eluded her yet again. Through their conversation, we learn that Astronema is working with Rita because she has offered her some power that would be powerful enough to destroy every one of her enemies. Rita gets pissed at Astronema for calling her incompetent and reminds her of what she's offering her. When Astronema informs her that the White Ranger has found her universe's Power Rangers, Rita responds that she's not worried about it. Even when Astronema points out that Godzilla is now involved, she responds that Godzilla is a part of her plans. Returning to the Prime Rangers and the White Ranger, the Prime Rangers agree to help him. But what I find interesting is when Kimberly asks White Ranger Tommy if his world is like theirs, he answers nearly identical. Kimberly comments though that they don't have a White Ranger. White Ranger Tommy responds, not yet, maybe not ever. Time works differently and different realities. So I found this interesting that he doesn't tell them that Tommy will eventually become the White Ranger. Suddenly, Zordon reports a multiversal disturbance has occurred. We see Godzilla and Rita's monsters from his universe have arrived here in Angel Grove. Honestly, this fight shouldn't have gone this long. Godzilla should have already defeated Tentacreep, Sting King, and Clawhammer. Rita should have been forced to unleash more monsters. Anyways, the rangers see the chaos, and Zordon orders all the rangers to use the fragment of the multiversal focus and move Godzilla and Rita's monsters to an isolated world before they lay waste to Angel Grove. Jason the Red Ranger responds, You know what that means. It's morphin' time! Back to Rita and Astronema aboard her space station. After they locate the White Ranger, Rita tries to order Astronema around by telling her to get to work. However, Astronema says, watch who you're bossing around. Remember, I was the one who rescued you from the void. Show respect, or I'll have my Psycho Rangers cast you back into the nothingness. Yeah, that's right. The something much, much worse from Power Rangers in Space that I was referring to is one of my favorite villains, the Psycho Rangers. Listen, everyone likes to talk about how when Tommy was the evil Green Ranger, just how much he dominated the Power Rangers by himself. But in my opinion, no other villain or villain team has given the Power Rangers a beating close to what the Psycho Rangers gave them. In the very episode they appeared, they dogged walked the Power Rangers not once, not twice, but three times. They were just so badass. Surprisingly unfazed by this threat, Rita replies, don't waste time posturing. Your Psycho Rangers are impressive, but they can be so much more thanks to my magic and gifts. Wouldn't you agree, Psycho Ranger Ghidorah? Reader has turned the yellow Psycho Ranger into King Ghidorah. This is so nuts and so surprising. And guess what? The rest of the Psycho Rangers are going to get this major power up. At Angel Grove, the Power Rangers and the Megazord, Tigerzord, and Dragonzord are helping Godzilla fight Rita's monsters doing their best to keep casualties and collateral damage to a minimum. They're just keeping the monsters back long enough until the White Ranger uses the fragment of the multiversal focus. They're also worried about Godzilla turning on them at any time. The White Ranger successfully uses the fragment and they're all sent into the reality stream. Rita gets pissed and this is where we learn another aspect of her grand plan, which is to use the beefed up Psycho Rangers to take down Godzilla and steal his power. Now, the universe the Rangers, Godzilla, and Rita's monsters end up in isn't uninhabited. The Rangers point out that they're in an amusement park filled with civilians. This amusement park is the World Children's Land, which first appeared in the Godzilla film Godzilla vs. Gigan. Since that film came out in 1972, you can say this is the universe of the 70s Godzilla. Unfortunately, I have to tell you all this, he won't be appearing. We won't be getting two Godzillas. Out of nowhere, Godzilla blasts the Dragon Zord. Billy the Blue Ranger reports that all the civilians are fleeing except for one person running towards them and the monsters. This person is Jet Jaguar, who jumps into the fight and beats back Clawhammer. He tries to signal to Godzilla that he's a friend, but to no surprise, that doesn't work, and he takes a direct hit from Godzilla's atomic breath. Now, Jet Jaguar is a giant robot that can change its size from normal human size to the size of a kaiju. He was created by Japanese inventor Goro Ubuki, and that's who contacts the Rangers in the Megazord. 
He informs them that he's here to help and that he's been expecting them because he's been tracking the changes in the space-time continuum and detected them. He explains that basically every time Rita has jumped from reality to reality and changing them, it's been damaging the very fabric of the universe and putting all the universes and worlds at risk of a complete collapse, an implosion. He tells them that the fragment of the multiverse of focus they used to get here, he can use it to trace any anomalies in the universe. At that moment, Rita sends a group of her monsters to this universe. Green Ranger Tommy initiates the Mega Dragonzord combination, but the Megazord gets attacked by one of Rita's monsters. So instead of combining with the Megazord, Tommy, at the very last minute, decides to combine the Dragonzord with Godzilla, creating Dragonzilla. That's the name I came up with. Even though this is cool and Tommy is able to combine the power of his Zord with Godzilla's, it's by no means a perfect match. When the Rangers ask him if he's controlling Godzilla, he answers no, it's like riding a bucking Bronco. However, this combination of power is putting in the work. Dragonzilla is taking out Rita's monsters, literally just one-shotting every single one of them. Keeping Rita's monsters occupied long enough for the White Ranger to meet up with Jet Jaguar and give the robot the fragment of the multiverse of focus for Goro to use to transport them. We then go to a universe that Rita and Astronomous forces are currently conquering, and it's bad. It looks like a post-apocalyptic Earth. We see the Billy of this universe seems to be the only Ranger left standing, and his team's Megazord is out of commission. Godzilla, Jet Jaguar, and the Rangers arrive. Jason points out though that they might not be out of the fight just yet, because Godzilla looks like he wants to tear something apart. Out of nowhere, the Psycho Rangers powered up pop up right in front of them. Psycho Red Ranger says, I wouldn't worry about Godzilla. I'd worry about us because we've gotten a monstrous upgrade and we're aching to use our new powers. Prepare to meet Psycho Ranger King Ghidorah, Psycho Ranger Hedorah, Psycho Ranger Destroya, Psycho Ranger Space Godzilla, Psycho Ranger Gigan, and Psycho Ranger Megalon. It's going down in the next video. The Psycho Rangers have been beefed up and become Godzilla's monsters. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to comment below if you want the end of this series and subscribe to the channel. Help me reach that goal of 50,000 subscribers. Other than that, have an awesome day and always remember every day to go beyond.